So today I'm going to do a boil test on the U.S. version of the Grainfather. Um, the first brew I did, I didn't really feel that I got a good rolling boil. Um, I had about seven and a half or seven and a quarter gallons uh, in to start, and uh, I just wanted a little bit more boil. So what I'm going to do is a test today that's going to up the volume of the water um, and see you know where the sweet spot is to kind of maintain a good rolling boil so to start off I um, put three gallons of water in there and that's the first measurement uh, that it has on the inside just over 11 liters um, there and uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the top on I'm gonna turn it to boil and once we get the boil I'll take the top off see how long it maintains that boil um, in there if we can maintain a good rolling boil find out what the volumes are on there then uh, that'll help with uh, adjusting some of the numbers for the recipes so we don't have concerns about hot break and things like that so I'm gonna go ahead and flip this on and get started okay after 51 minutes I was able to get three gallons of water from 85 degree ground temperature to a good boil. Um, take the top off. Let's put the top on. Nice rolling boil. Uh, with three gallons there. You can see that uh, that's what you know what you'd want during a brew. Get wort in there. So it's really hard to see the gauge, but it's registering at two went down to 210 when I took the top off and you can see that it is still it's not as vigorous as it boils when I first took it off it's kind of dissipating a little bit but uh, for brewing to me that would be acceptable um, I'm not in there be able to get hop utilization really cut it down though. So I'm going to leave it off here for two or three minutes and I'll come back and see, see where we're at with the boil on that. Okay after about a minute of having it off um, it's significantly significantly uh, calmed down in there. The temperature dropped to 208 and so I'm going to give it a few minutes to adjust uh, the heat without the uh, out the glass top on and get the um, heating element fired back up and see if it can recover and continue to boil because that is definitely not enough I add three gallons to do a proper boil at least in my opinion but um, we'll see if once the element gets going again uh, it can bring it back up to boil Okay, so after 30 minutes of having a lid off, after a good hard boil, three gallons, uh, it's gone back up to 206, as low as 205, and very slow boil, almost we call that simmer. So I'm gonna try and put the reflectance jacket on the, the that I kind of hacked on my first brew and see if maybe that'll help with it. Uh, but it's got to come up more than a degree and a half an hour uh, on there. So we'll give it another 15 minutes or so once I get the jacket on. Okay, so 15 minutes after um, I put the reflectix on, uh, I drop a degree still a simmer, I wouldn't quite call it a boil. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kill this experiment for right now. My intent was to start with three, uh, try to get four at a rolling boil, and then see between where four and five that it started to die out, but I can't get more than three at a rolling boil without the glass lid on. So, that's a problem. 
All right, after about a week of uh, messing around with a heat stick and some other things, um, I've got this hunter or this thousand watt element that I'm putting in here uh, to help augment with maintaining a boil. So this thing was like, I think $8 on Amazon and I'm just giving it a whirl, see if it will help keep a good rolling boil with the top off. That's kind of what I'm shooting for. I've done the two brews here. The second beer, which was a uh, stout, uh, had good activity on it. And also we had um, been using a, or been recommended to use a uh, fryer splatter uh, screen to help maintain some heat from the local brew shop, which it did. And uh, it seemed to produce a good boil. So just gonna try this, see if it works. and. Uh, Get it out there and hopefully it'll maintain a good boil and if it does then good to go okay uh, looks like we got to boil in about 23 minutes so i'm gonna go ahead and pull this off and see if we're maintaining uh the boil got a really good strong boil here um, we're at 212 with peg Looks like it's maintained. It looks like it's get out of here. Looks like it's really um, maintaining well. Uh, you can kind of see where I have the uh, heat stick is where most of the oil is coming from. So looks like uh, we'll be able to get a good rolling oil with the top off by augmenting with a 1000 watt heat stick. I built a 1500 watt but it kept shorting out on me for some reason. Uh, based on the activity in here, 1500 watts would be more than enough. Obviously that was split over a couple different circuits in here. But, uh, you know, to get some wort, wort boiled off to get to certain numbers or things like that, it looks like uh, this is a good option right now. I'm going to let it go for another 5-10 minutes and see if it's maintained.